Generic greetings and welcome back to Airships Conquer the Skies once again in the previous episode we got sledged and there's no way to sugarcoat that let's just say it how it is we lost pretty much all of the fleet as well as one city which is uh, suboptimal to say the very least but hopefully we will be able to remedy that with the gratuitous application of doom ships as you can see we've got the doom ship in here and here getting built and once they are constructorated we might be able to take another city over or this could be the last episode in this uh, series we'll see how it goes either way as you can see the two remaining AI I have uh, four and three cities each respectively and they are going to be attacking each other willy-nilly hopefully keeping out of my way while I constructorate these things here as I said I'm building the doom ships I'm going to speed up the game a bit because quite honestly these take an age to make and there's nothing else to do as you can see we are losing 104 generic units of currency per day or per tick but we do have enough to hopefully um, just keep going and we're about to be attacked by whatever this thing is and that's probably the end of the campaign um, as you can see They've just sent an absolute boatload of stuff here. They've got whatever that is, which has obviously got the center bit destroyed. We've got some weird bomber type thing. Oh no, it's got little drones on it. Oh no, no, they're heli, they're heli bits on the side to keep it up. They've got a carrier, which you've seen before, some drone things. Uh, another one back here with little um, hazards and then a gunner type thing. And then this weird ship that we've seen several times. It's like an automated ship. And we have uh, the... The ship that's good for boarding as well as our ground things, which is, well, we've got a relay station here, which we haven't yet repaired because we didn't have the time. We've got a flak station there. We've got another artillery station, a sort of fortress over there, and um, a garden. So this is going to go well. Let's start the fight, and immediately we will click on this guy, and we will say board, and we'll say board that thing there. We will obviously unpause it and just see what sort of carnage is going to be wrought over there. And oh my good grief, immediately, as you can see, we have a ship that's been cut in half. And that is good for us, but uh, yeah, in terms of the long fight, I don't know how it's going to go. There is even more explosions as you can see obviously artillery is going to be uh, getting launched from this thing here at probably that target I believe it is um, obviously they've got pretty much the same coming up at us as well we do uh, have this ship under our control now whatever the hell it is but it is under our control but we can't issue any commands because the bridge is out so it's just gonna sort of crash around and do its thing I am going to target with our artillery piece this thing here because quite honestly this one at the front has already been destroyerated so that's fine it looks like their ships, oh sorry, their planes are actually targeting their own airships and the whole thing is getting collapsed. Look at this. The whole thing is um, like just colliding with each other and they're getting landed on and crushed because of this thing, the uh, reacting turn with the suit. That's landed on top of this thing which we captured, then that's dropped onto this and then this and this. And yeah, it's, it's all going down, which um, is a thing. So that's good. As long as we can stay fighting fit, we should be fine. Uh, but I mean, that's a statement that um, is fairly accurate pretty much any time of the... Uh, any time of the day and also in any game that's an artillery hit which is taking the entire rear end of that off also as you can see their planes are going overhead and the flat guns are absolutely wrecking them look at that wrecking face there that's it <laughs> oh poor guy yeah, and looks like that's getting hit by artillery once more. So I'm going to wait until this is technically destroyed, and then I should be able to retarget over to one of these ships. The wave of fire that uh, I'm receiving has been subdued somewhat by the fact that their ships have collapsed into a doom stack, so that's always an advantage. But obviously, we do need to win this and finish it off, so I may. I need to make sure that we don't run out of ammo, really. Uh, there's another artillery which has completely split that ship in half, so that's fine. We are going to target this carrier, and the reason for that is as you can see the front's already fallen off but what I want to do is get a good hit on the back here exactly that and as you can see it's now coming out the sky it's already damaged that one so actually the only one really left I think is this one in the middle that's technically got guns on it uh, and this one here but if I can just make them go for defeated then I'll uh, I'll take that looks like there's another big hit there this thing at the front is already firing away as you can see but there's only one section left and that's bad because we only have really uh, this can at the back which is running out of ammo, uh, ammo so I'm going to go for aimed fire there back over to the artillery section and we will target the ship that one there let's see what happens Here, is there any incoming incoming yep split the ship in half it is now a split ship but it's still fire rating so that's not good what I might do is I might I might retarget to this piece here because quite honestly I think it is no, no these these are two these two are still going uh, looks like there's another piece being broken off that yeah let's retarget to this in here mainly because if it misses obviously there's a bigger chance of it going around the other places so that should be fine that ships out that ships out uh, that's just been 
had the front cut off it, which is bad because, as you can see, look, it's still got a front end because this thing here has got guns. So it's like three guns with ammo in the middle. So it's technically still a legitimate boat. Although we are chipping away at that quite nicely. Uh, this thing is almost out of ammo. We've only got th oh, 34 out of 180 ammo left. So that's why I've put it on aim fire because if that runs out of ammo, we're going to be fairly screwed. There's more artillery coming in. Obviously, we've already done a great amount of damage so far. Just to get this far with the resources that we started with is is a huge achievement, I think. Um, but obviously, I'm trying to fight this one fairly aggressively because if we lose this, then, well, we've lost our main home city and we certainly don't want that because it's the main home city and it, it's, you know, it, that way lies like losing the game. But also because, I'm just going to retarget that ship back here, also because I'm building a doom ship here. The Doom Shippington is getting under construction and it is almost complete. So if this gets taken over, I lose all of that. And, you know, that's just... No, I, I, I really do not like the idea of that. I'd rather have a Doom Shippington than cancel it on 90% of build. So, anyway. Just waiting for the artillery to come in. And that was a good hit. It's really done a lot of damage there. Yep, that front's just fallen off. That's all blowing up. And there's chain reactions as it goes. And then there's no front on that at all. Excellent. So where is the shot still coming from? The shots are still coming from that... Yep. Uh, actually, they're coming from this thing as well. This thing and this thing. Yeah. It's sort of quietened up a bit now. More incoming. There we go. Yeah, so there is a couple of shots coming in, but we are out of ammo there. And so it's only my artillery piece and this little flak gun, which is currently doing nothing against that. They don't really do anything at all. Oh, there we go. That's what we wanted. So there's that gun. We will then target the ship. This one. So this one is technically, I believe, the only one left. So if we take these guns out, we should be... We should be sweet. That's just split the ship in half, but it's still a valid ship, as you can see. This part here has got guns. It's got a couple of deck guns. Looks like that thing is just broken in. Coming! There we go. I'll tell you what, it is a bit of a wasteland across here. Look at that. That's a lot of damage anyway. Another incoming. That's what we wanted. But... What are we still having to fight? What are we still having to fight? This section, maybe? Yeah, these, these could still be legitimate targets. This is one of the longest fights I think I've ever done. That's gone. So this sec this section is a, a proper one as well. Yeah, this is one of the longest fights I've ever had. And if it wasn't for this artillery, I would have lost the game a long time ago. There's another one that I didn't notice. But that's being taken out. We'll target this beat. See, normally these would be defeated because they if they haven't got a gun, then they can't be legitimate ship. Oh, but it's got a flat gun look. That's why it's not defeated. Yeah, now I've just taken the back off. The stern's just hit the deck. Yeah, but that's got a flat gun, so that's still a legitimate boat. So once that's gone... There we go, that's now defeated. No, no, it's not. It's not. It's still there. This has been chopped off there, but that's still a flat gun. There you go. So it's almost got no engine. Once the engine or the suspendium chamber goes down, we should be fine on that one. Yeah, I think we hit the suspendium. Oh my good god. We hit the suspendium chamber, but look! <laughs> it's still a gun! It must be a gun and an ammo store. Oh, good grief. Come on. There we go. Yeah, that blew it up. <laughs> okay. What's left? Um... Where's it gonna target? Victory. Whatever it was, it hit it. I'm very surprised we won that. So, Comer into mobile. Orion, dis disarmed. Reliance mobile. Artful, no crew quarters. Thunderer, disarmed. Iron Duke destroyed, Vanguard mobile. Amethyst destroyed, Vic uh, the Viceroy immobile. White Lookout disarmed, farm survived. <laughs> farm just, just fine. Okay. So, they've run off, and the problem is that we really, really, really do need to get this Doom ship built because once it's built, which it's done now, I will pause it and I will crack on with the defences and more importantly, we will uh, refit them. Uh, is that the case? Yes, we will. So we will refit them and that is technically... Yeah, forest artillery station. So open design, 
Um, where's the forest artillery station? Why can't we build it? We can't build it. Okay, so I'm going to have to scrap that, sadly, and probably scrap that as well, which is this little flak thing at the front. But I'm going to place more of them because I think those are fantastic. While we're on here, though, we'll move these back over, as you can see. And... This is like a, it generates cash. What I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to move it. Oh, no, it's fine where it is. I think it's fine where it is. But I'm going to get it very close. Uh, this one we will um, move. And can I move back over? I can move back over a, bit, a little bit. We'll move that one back over to there. And then we will go to build building. And we want to build a tiny trench because I think these are fantastic. Uh, did I trench here? Oh, I put an A in there by accident. Uh, <laughs> It'd be better if it was Tchanka. <laughs> LMG! Lordhead! That would be fantastic. Anyway, we'll build that. That's done. Uh, build landship and... Oh, no, 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 no. Build defences once more. As you can see, we now have a doom ship. Fantastic. Uh, we will build building. Why can't we build the forest artillery station? Unable to load building. Don't know why, because I'm still using the same mods. So I don't know why that's not working. That's problematic. Um, okay, another tiny trench, because I think these are quite good. Put one in here. There we go. And leave. So, we will... Oh, they're attacking me. This is going to be bad. And I've got another trench. Let's just see what they come up with. And... Right. So, I'm going to move this right at the back, like so. Um... Yeah, about there. I think it's fine. So, they've got four ships. They've got whatever these things are. Looks like just gunboats. Lots of them. Lots of guns at the front. This one, probably the same, but it's got a bit of flak and a bit of guns. So, I've got two flak things. I've got some artillery. I've got this doom ship. So, let's start the fight immediately. I'm going to move this back over like so. And as you can see, we will, yeah, just burn away because of the rockets. And flak's going to be going out. We'll have artillery coming in. They are immediately targeting the doom ship, which is not good. But I should be able to... Good grief, are these flying straight over the top, aren't they? Um, eventually, the artillery will start hitting, so I'm going to target that ship there. Actually, no, target the top ship because they're currently flying in formation, which means that if the top one goes down, it's going to start dropping. This is bad because I cannot get away from them. They're just charged towards the Doom ship, and they're just going to focus it down. And In fact, they've done just that, and they've already started taking a huge amount of damage on the Doom ship. Already one of the artillery stations has been destroyed. The main Doom higher whatever center bit is gone the left side's gone oh my good grief in fact we've lost an absolute boatload of stuff here this is not going well this is not going well at all hmm yeah the doom ships are just too weak for that part um I mean I think we'll win the fight but only just Yeah, the, the Doom ships, they just can't take hits. But I mean, we knew this, but they're a support ship, essentially. So there's them picked apart. Eventually, it will be a victory. But you can see, we've had our Doom ship immobile. So, and we've lost the Doom ship. We've actually lost the thing. Okay. I'm going to have to build... What we're going to do, we're going to go to design ship. So the problem there is... That we've got a very, very, very expensive ship. That's a support ship, and quite honestly... It doesn't work when you've got but very little pl places to build it. If we've got two places to build it, it takes ages, we can't build up a fleet, eventually we're going to be ground down. So we need something that's very small, but has a lot of firepower. So we have stuff like that, but I think we'll go for a suggestion that um, has been floating around the comments for the last couple of episodes, and that is, if I can find it, will it be in... It won't be in weapons, it'll be in... God knows where it'll be, actually. Um... It's not in WF modules, because these are all like lightning cannons and super heavy guns and stuff like that. What we want is a very small ship. And we've already had the KV-2s. Which, I know people wanted me to make uh, <laughs> more of those. No, but we want to make... I could have a floating island, but yeah. Um, we want to make an artillery boat. So we'll have one of those in. So that's an artillery station. And we're just going to have this, as small as we can get it, flying about. That's all it's going to be. So, it doesn't require anything to... 
go. Doesn't require any power, but obviously we do need a way to keep this in the air. So we'll have some... We could have a floating island piece. And just make it like an artillery island. That's a possibility. But... Do I really want to go that way? Like, you, you sort of put... Like, make a stone sort of section around it, like that. Um, and then you have... Where is it? Um, actually, we'll delete the sections like that because we'll sort of tunnel into the island. Um, and you'd have crystalline or large chunk of stone concern suspendium geodes, which this keeps it above the, oh my good grief, 721 metres if we have one of those. And maybe not. Although we do need... We do need somewhere to keep this in the air. So, we can't give orders to the ship. Can't give anything like we don't have anything like that. So let's go over to Command and Crew Quarters. One of we will have under the basic tab. Uh, it's not there. I guess it's going to be in structural. We want a corridor. It's a corridor going down. We'll have the island um, and with all sorts of stuff. So it's no marines. Ah, it's classed as... Do we need marines? I guess we do. Um, can't give commands to it. Needs more supply hatches, all that sort of stuff. So we will have troops. We'll have barracks. There's a barracks. We have no ammunition, which we're aware of. So what we'll do is we'll have a... Um, do we just want... Like a, a small gun at the front? Actually, you know what we'll use? Because we haven't, we haven't uh, really messed around with it too much. We'll go over to... This weapon's here. And you've got like little flat guns and stuff. Um, that's not a flat gun. It's not a little one either. A torpedo launcher maybe? A medium broadside turret. A torpedo launcher. Uh, nothing really works there. Little turrets. Uh, they're all little turrets. But I think what I was going to go for is these little pods you see. So a little autopod. We shall go there. <laughs> and we'll have that there. Uh, next to it. We will have a. Cockpit. Next to that, we will have our ammo store. Need supplies, hatches, heavily reduced structural integrity due to gigantic size. It's not gigantic because of that. Okay, this is where the problem comes with the island. That um, because of the island pieces, we might have some problems with the uh, with the thing. So, and what's its what's its service ceiling? Two hundred three meters. Not too bad. Um, either way, I want to cut those down. Oh, no, we'll have a, a stone side. Um, like that, something like that. Just trying to make it we a different shape. We need to go to island pieces. Actually, no, we need, we need a supply hatch first. So we'll put a supply hatch in. I'm going to take that piece off, by the way. Supply hatch in there and there. So there's two supply hatches. And then back to the floating island pieces. Which will have the two, well, one piece of all because two will make it far, float far too high. And then some grass, maybe. Nope, that doesn't change anything. Dirt. Yeah. So it'll actually be dirt around the top here. Like that. Um, we want about the same at the front here, we want dirt. Trying to make it island-like, as I said. Problem is this station needs a direct line of sight forward, you see. And we'll have a tree trunk. Like that. And well, that's trunk and tree branch. Uh, like branches and leaves. And there's a couple of trees on this island. Uh, put one in the back as well. It's like shrubbery. Yeah, there is shrubbery. A couple of shrubberies. And there you go. It would be nice to have one at the front, but sadly, it's not going to work. Um, could we have one at the front? No, because this gun would have to go further down, so it would look stupid. Um, what about shrubbery at the front? Mm. I have to do that, you see. Which isn't terrible. The shrubbery. And there we go. Uh, in terms of armour, obviously we're going to make it as armoured as we can. So, 
Titanium is probably the way to go. But actually no. Rock wall, maybe. Stone wall. Stone would work out, I think, for this. No decoration. Um so it's the Gav. Is Landington. Okay. So the Islandington. Save. Save the design. Build it. Let's see how expensive it is. Not terribly. Doesn't take a long time to build either. Whether or not it's good is really up for debate. Um, so we're going to build... Uh, where is it? Build ship. It's 950. So it's not too expensive at all. Build land ship. And we're going to keep building them. That's the wrong one. Build ship. Uh, the problem is we're losing a lot of money. In fact, we're going to have to really get going here. Because if we don't take something over, we're dead. So, invade. Here we go. I said invade. And it's broke. What? What? Okay, everything's broke. The game is broken. Uh, okay. Ah, oh, you can move fleets while the treasury is empty. Okay. Uh, so, is that the end of the game? Um, I think it might be. Yep. I don't think there's much I can do. And they're sabotaging the island in turns. Fire caused by foreign agents. Uh, it's not going well. Yeah. Um, I think, quite honestly, this might be a GG game over. Because I can't move the fleets. What can I do? I could only really get rid of the Doom ship. And even that's brought it down by a little bit. I don't know why I'm losing so much cash. Yeah, that's the end of that then. So, uh, we found that although the money can fluctuate, um, sometimes it goes up by you've got an absolute crap ton. Uh, it also, you know, from what you giveth, taketh with. Ooh, we're bankrupt. Hmm. I think we'll leave it there uh, for this uh, little sort of mini-series. I want to revisit this with mods. Uh, the problem is that, as you saw, I did have a problem with the mod loading. Just, I couldn't load some of the stuff, and I have been having a couple of issues throughout the series with the mods. I don't know whether that's causing error with losing so much money. I don't know why we're losing so much money. Um, if you look at defence, I mean, we haven't, got a, we haven't got a lot. In fact, we've got, I mean, well, maybe it's because the trees broke. Is that that? Is it because of that? I really don't know. I'm guessing it's that, actually. That because this is damaged, technically that's not generating any cash. But I don't know if that's the case or not. Either way, the right was on the wall from sort of the end of last episode with us getting attacked from different areas and such. We got jumped on. We made some different ships. We tried stuff out. I am up for revisiting this, uh, maybe straight away. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Do you want to start a new little series and go through it again with the mods and try stuff out? I definitely want to try that uh, that ship we just made out of that little island but um, hmm, interesting, interesting either way, hope you have enjoyed the series for what it was, although we did actually lose the thing, but uh, that's always something we can't, that can happen, also the like I said, some glitches with the mods didn't help but uh, either way, uh, let me know in the comments what you want to do whether we start a new series or try different mods etc etc, either way, thanks very much for watching, take care and generic partings